Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Christ. In the last days there will be mockers and scoffers, and that is very true. What am I even saying all the time? I believe in the Bible literally, except for when there's parables, obviously. I believe in Genesis. It describes creation. It describes how we were made, human beings were made in God's image. And it explains how earth, earth is creation. It's not a universe. Earth is creation. I believe Genesis to be literal and what God describes, that's what I'm telling people. I don't go to any channels and go, oh boy, are you an evolution and Big Bang and globe believer? Moron. I don't do any of that ever. I have a channel, and if people want to watch and have a conversation, they can do so. There are so many mockers and scoffers, and they don't even understand what Genesis says, and they don't even understand their precious heliocentric model if they knew what it's actually supposed to be doing, the speeds that it's doing things and rotating and zipping through space. <laughs> they don't even understand any of that. But yet, they defend the world, Satan's lies of a globe, and they deny Genesis and the Bible. Even if they don't realize they're doing that, that's what they're doing. A commenter named Flight2K5 says, Oh boy, are you a flat earther? On my video, is Jonathan Kahn a false prophet? And I say, oh boy, are you a Genesis and Bible denier? I can't, I'm like, I'm not saying to never use emojis. Everyone uses emojis sometimes, but a laughing, crying emoji is very immature. And he says, Genesis doesn't describe a flat earth. And I say, yes, a laughing emoji is very mature. Tell me what the firmament is described in Genesis and throughout the Bible. And I quote, And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. Genesis 1-7 in the King James Bible. And I say, It's taken you a while to reply. Hmm, I wonder why. Because he doesn't know what he's going to come back with. And he says, That's not flat earth. Laughing, crying emoji. Because I'm working. Laughing, crying emoji. And I say, You haven't answered my question at all. Tell me what the firmament is. He posts a Kent Hovind video, which... Kent Hovind knows some things, but he like he, he denies God's creation. It's simple. And I said, instead of posting a lame video, how about you answer my simple question? You're avoiding it because you don't know how sad. Because he's mocking, and he doesn't even realize what he's mocking. And he mocks me more. Apparently, unlike you, I have a job. Laughing, crying emojis two times. And I don't know what he means here. The ABI me does not say flat earth. Try again, nut job right? They love this. Crazy people, mentally ill, nut job, all these names. And I say, you're absolutely pathetic. You don't even know what the firmament is, and you're mocking me and God's creation. Give me a break. What a joke you are. And I say, you can't even answer a simple question. Wow, embarrassing. And I say, what are you talking about when you say the ABI me? I don't know what he's, he probably mistyped there or whatever, but. So what is the firmament dome? Again, what does Genesis say? And God made the firmament and divided the waters, which were under the firmament, you know, the oceans and seas and lakes and rivers, from the, from the firmament, from the waters which were above the firmament. Notice it doesn't say outer space anywhere. Here's earth, it's creation. It's flat, motionless, and domed with God's firmament, a glass-like dome that keeps in not outer space, if you want to call it inner space, I don't like the word space at all because it's the greater light the sun, the lesser light the moon. They're on their circuits. They move. The stars and the wandering stars, the planets, they move throughout the firmament dome. The earth is motionless. It says this many, many times in the Bible. There are waters above the firmament in the beginning when God made creation to paint him. So he flooded the earth. He made a rainbow covenant to not do that again, but in the beginning he did. He opened the floodgates. He opened the vaults of heaven. He opened the firmament dome to let the waters above flood the earth. Waters below, the seas and the lakes and the rivers and oceans and stuff, there's waters above, not outer space. The stars and the sun and moon are local. They're inside the firmament dome. Above the waters above are the heavens above. God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ seated literally above us. That's what I'm saying. That's what Genesis says. To have people go, okay, nut job and all this stuff, they don't even know what they're talking about. 
They're denying Genesis in the Bible. They're not taking God literally at his word. They're listening to the world, science, man, all of which have been proven liars. God tells us this in the Bible that to trust God and don't trust any man because everyone's a liar. Everyone's been a liar in this world. And there's lots of Freemasons that go out of their way to deceive the world, to have power, money, control, etc. And to take God and the Bible out of the world which leads people to salvation, the only way it's possible, Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection, according to the scriptures, which are literally true. So, yet another mocker and scoffer proving the last days. I don't know if this person is a Christian or not. It doesn't seem like it, obviously. But, oh boy, are you a flat earther? And I come back, oh boy, are you a Genesis and Bible denier? He doesn't know what the firmament is. He's very rude, and he takes cheap shots, calling me a nut job and using laughing smiley emojis. How mature, hey? So if you have a question, why not ask just honestly, like, hey, hey, Josh, I'm confused about this. Why do you believe in this? And then we can have a conversation. But to come on here and say nut job and to come on here and not know what you're talking about with your foot in your mouth and looking very stupid, if you ask me, it is. I don't want to be rude in my comments, but... It is absolutely pathetic to go on someone's video and say, you believe this? You're an idiot. And meanwhile, it's the truth that he's not realizing. He's siding with the world and Satan, to be honest with you, because Satan's ball and his evol... Like, if this person doesn't believe in evolution because they posted a Kent Hovind video, evolution and the Big Bang go along with the globe. You can't have them separate. You either believe creation and Genesis... Or you believe what man and science say, the science textbooks, Big Bang, nothing created everything. And then all this stuff like, right, monkey man and all this adaption and all this. Well, there is a type of adaption, but there's no change of kind. God made Adam and Eve, human beings in the Garden of Eden. That's how he made us. We are not Neanderthals. We didn't come from monkey men and like bacteria in the ocean and fish grew legs, etc. None of that is true. I don't know if this person believes that. But if they don't believe that, then they should believe in a flat, motionless, domed earth, because that's what God made. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.